Hi Raven and Batch Commander users, Jamie Z here, going to show you how to set up custom fader groups in Pro Tools, just how Steven did in his latest VMR 2.0 tutorial video. Let's get started. First thing we want to do is show all of our tracks in our session that we will be mixing and hit enter on our keyboard and then give this a name. All tracks, we will want to set it to number 90 so that this doesn't interfere with any of our memory locations in the session. And we will also want to select none under time properties so that it doesn't create a marker on our timeline. Next, you'll want to check the box for track show hide. And this will recall the exact tracks that are showing when we recall this memory location. We'll hit enter to lock it in. Now we'll create a batch command that's going to launch that memory location. Open up your batch command, hit key command, hit numpad decimal, click key command again. Hit numpad 9, hit key command again, hit numpad 0, key command one more time, and hit numpad decimal again. Now this is going to launch the exact key command sequence to open memory location 90. We'll give it a name, all tracks, give it a color, and hit confirm. Next, let's set up a memory location that will recall our drums. So I will highlight all my drum tracks. Then I will show only the drum tracks. I'll hit enter on my keyboard to bring up the memory location window. Give it a name, drums. The number will do this 91. Be sure to select none so it doesn't create a marker on your timeline. And then select track show hide. Then hit OK. Now let's create a batch command that will launch memory location 91. Push and hold a batch command. Hit key command, numpad decimal. Key command 9, key command numpad 1, key command numpad decimal again. Call this drums, give it a color, hit confirm. Now, if I hit the all tracks batch command, it'll show all of our tracks. And if I hit the drums batch command, it'll show just my drums. Let's set one up for guitars. I will highlight all my guitar tracks, bank over and grab my bass tracks. I will show only these selected tracks. Hit enter on the keyboard. Call this guitars. Give it a number 92. Click none. Make sure track show hide is enabled. Hit OK. Now program the batch command to launch that memory location. Hit key command numpad decimal. Key command numpad 9. Key command numpad 2. Key command numpad decimal. Give this a name, guitars, give it a color, and hit confirm. Now I zoom to all tracks, and I can go to my guitars, and I could show my drums by hitting the drum batch command, then back to all tracks. This is a great feature to stay organized and get around large sessions. And perhaps you want to edit one of these memory locations, you would just recall the memory location, there's your guitars, and maybe we want to put our master fader in here. Now, open up your memory location window, and just right click the memory location, and hit OK. Now, memory location 92 has been updated to have the master fader. So there's all tracks, back to the guitars, there's our master fader. We do the same thing to bring up our drums, we add the master, we right click the drums from the memory location, hit enter to lock it in. Now we have the master fader showing in our custom fader group. Hope you guys dig it. Bye.